Today's class, I am going to discuss about for loop in Verilog HDL. So, most of the students are familiar with this concept. So, this concept already studied in C language. The operation is same, but the syntax is slightly different compared to C program. The idea behind the for loop is to iterate a set of given statement within a loop as long as given condition is true. So, it is an idea behind the for loop. Today's class, I am going to explain how to use the for loop in Verilog HDL. So, before that, I write the syntax. So, how to use for loop in C language. So, in C language, for loop is represented like this for i equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. So, it is a initial condition. So, in this initial condition, i value is 0, then condition is i is less than 5 then i plus plus so it is a step assignment then open brace here write the statement then close brace so it is a syntax syntax for C language so now come to very look so for loop syntax for initial condition then condition comma step assignment step assignment so initial condition then condition step assignment then begin so instead of open brace in Verilog HDL use begin then write the statement Instead of close brace, here use en. So, this is the for loop syntax for Verilog HDL. So, this one is C language for loop syntax. So, here the major difference is instead of open brace and close brace, here use begin and en. Let me assign the variable. So, i. So, initial condition i value is 0. Then here condition is i less than 5. So, step assignment i equal to i plus 1. So, in this for loop, initial condition i value equal to 0. So, 0 is less than 5. So, the condition is true. So, once the condition is true means this statement will execute. Then i equal to i plus 1. So, now i value is goes to 1. Then this 1 is less than 5. So, this 1 is less than 5. In this case also, this condition is true. Then execute the statement. So, once the condition is false, the loop will exit. So, now I am going to write one simple program using for loop. Module. Module name is for loop. Here I am using one variable. That variable comes under integer. So, integer i then initial begin now use the for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 5 i equal to i plus 1 so instead of open brace here using begin then the statement is display current loop percentage d0 comma i then end the for loop then end the begin then n module. So, in this program, for loop condition is i equal to 0, i less than 5, i equal to i plus 1. So, initially i value is 0. So, 0 less than 5. The condition is true. So, condition true means then i equal to i plus 1. Now, i value is 1. Then, we we'll come to the loop. Display the current loop. The output is like this. 
current loop is zero. So now I value is zero. That zero is reflect here. Then the condition is true means again once again run in the for loop. Now I value is one. So one less than five. Then the condition is true. It execute the given statement with an loop. So current loop is one. So like this, the output will display on the display. So once i value is five, so five less than five means the condition is false. So once the condition is false, this loop is exit. Then come to here. So in this begin, it's close statement in. Then final statement is in module. So simple way to use for loop in very large HDL. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.